Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict. I am Marina, and this is going to be a huge Dollar Tree haul. I am so excited to share with you guys some of the finds that I found this week, and um, yeah, we're gonna get right into it. So the first thing that I wanna share with you guys that I picked up, and I do pick them up all the time, I picked up these slices. I just love the colors. Um, well, I call them slices. I think the Dollar Tree considers these pet rugs because it says simply the best and they're rubber backed. So um, I guess I guess if the dog uses them and pees on them, you could still clean. I don't really know what these are actually supposed to be for, but what I find they're great for is you get two of them. When you get lucky enough to find two that match, you can double them up and put them at your door and then put like another mat on top of them. So you get a cool layered look, but these don't blow, these don't blow away and they really um, actually do absorb like dirt before people come in. I don't have a hallway. My house opens right into my living room. So I really like having a bunch of mats outside my door so that people can rub their feet before they come in. Also, I like to buy these and put them underneath the rocking chairs on my deck so that the, de the, the rocking chairs don't slide all over the place when you're rocking in them because I do have a little deck and I'm always worried that people are just going to end up rocking themselves right off the deck, but <laughs> which has happened actually. So I just think these are awesome for a dollar. They are basically like weatherproof. They're indestructible and they do have like the coolest patterns. Like I picked up a couple of these. I just think they're really cute for the backyard for when you're coming right out of the pool because again, it's rubber backed and yeah, they last forever. They kind of get washed in the rain. I don't know, I think they're great for a dollar. I love them. So I'm gonna put some of them right in front of my pool and I bought a bunch of them. I, I really like this print. It matches the outside of my house. So I bought a bunch of these and they'll get used up over the course of the summer. Also, I think I'm gonna be doing like a porch makeover. I, you guys don't even wanna know what my porch looks like right now, but I'm gonna do like a little makeover for when I start having open houses. Let me know if you guys would like to see that. I think it will be like extreme porch makeover is what I think because over the winter, my door, my, my screen door of the front of my house literally has practically blown off of the house. It's basically being held on by like a hairpin right now. And I just went to Lowe's and I signed up for them to come and measure and replace my door. So this is gonna be an extreme makeover. Let me know if you guys are interested in seeing that video. It, it will be a huge difference. So um, I did pick up one of these because my husband has been growing microgreens and I just actually love the idea of taking this right into the backyard, cutting the microgreens, putting them in here, shaking them so that some of the dirt that's you know at the roots of the microgreens come out and then we could just rinse this and shake it out again and then put it in the fridge until we want to eat it later that evening. This is just a dollar, but it's a really perfect colander for that. And um, yeah, for a dollar, I just love this. I did pick these up and I think they're really cute. I believe that they're part of the Dollar Tree Bridal Collection. Do you guys see those little pearls that are in there and the lace? They're super cute. You get 18 paper plates for a dollar. And of course, I picked up the matching napkins. I'm probably gonna use these on my wedding anniversary in August. So yeah, but I mean, if you have a bridal shower or uh, anything coming up, you could pick these up. They're not expensive for from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. I think they're great for a dollar. I did pick up some Toastums. Now I picked up the cherry and the strawberry. And the reason being, I was planning on doing a taste test a long time ago and I never got around to doing it because whenever I buy these, so here's the thing, whenever I buy these, I put them in the actual Pop-Tarts box. That's what I have to do to trick the boys. They don't actually pay attention to what's inside of here because they can't, they don't realize, they just never realized it. I just take these out and put them in the Pop-Tarts box, but I got busted the other day. And my husband was like, oh, oh, 
have you been switching them out? No wonder they don't taste like they used to. I don't like those because he likes to pretend like he hates things from the Dollar Tree, which is very annoying. And I was like, no, of course I haven't been doing it all along. You don't know what you're talking about. And you eat those all the time. You like them. They taste just like the, the Pop-Tarts. And he was like, no, they don't. So I was like, okay, no problem. Chris will eat them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the real Pop-Tarts and these Pop-Tarts and I'm going to do a taste test and we'll see which Pop-Tart wins because they love these. I don't know who they're kidding. They're delicious. They taste just like Pop-Tarts. I don't even like Pop-Tarts and I can tell that they're delicious. Something I was thrilled to find, thrilled to find at the Dollar Tree were these five ounce bags of granola. Number one, you can probably get huge bags of granola um, that are cheaper, but I love the fact that they're sealed five ounce bags because we're just a family of three. And although my boys love yogurt parfaits, love them, I mean, they granola does go stale once you open it. And if you've ever had stale granola, you know that it tastes like rotten oil. I do not like it. So I'm so excited that these five ounce bags are individual. There's like enough in here to make like six yogurt parfaits or at least by my yogurt to um, granola ratio. And I'm psyched. I think this is an awesome score for a dollar. Um, and they're non-GMO, all natural by SunBest. Organic coconut oil is used in them. Heart healthy. This, this one is peanut butter cluster flavor and they're delicious. Delicious, you guys. We've already had all of them. We've tried them all. They're delicious. Um, this one is almond and raisin. This is my personal favorite. I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. I love anything that has almonds in it. It's so delicious. And it has little shreds of coconut in it as well. And it's um, sweetened with honey. So good. Again, non-GMO. And then these, these have pumpkin seeds, coconut, flax seeds, and honey. And they're whole rolled oats. And they literally have like giant pumpkin seeds in it. This one is so good in lemon yogurt. Oh my gosh. I had it in lemon yogurt the other day. I was dying with joy. They're so good. Oh yes. Lemon Greek yogurt. Delicious with that. Delicious. And you can add berries on top. I added blueberries on top of the lemon yogurt. It was so good. I could have eaten 10 of those. I love yogurt parfaits and they're so expensive in the store when you buy a ready-made parfait at like stop and shop wherever stop and shop shoppers exist it's like $3.99 $4.99 you can make it at home for like pennies compared to that I did pick up these um really awesome binder pouches because I like to do um binders with medical supplies in them and I'm gonna be making one for a friend of mine and I picked up a pink pouch. I like that it has a window. So you get a binder, you start to put the medical supplies in each individual pouch, you know, like scissors and gauze and band-aids and whatever. And you just put it off like ointments, poison ivy treatments, things like that. And you can see what's in each pouch instead of inundating your medicine cabinet, because I have inundated my medicine cabinet with makeup. Yep. That's right. Makeup. So I need to have my my medical pouch, my first aid kit is like stashed between two pieces of furniture where no one can see it, but everyone in the house knows where it is. And it's like kind of like, it's sort of like a hidden little spot in my house. Believe me, I've had to use all of the hiding stash places in my home because I live in a tiny, tiny beach. It's basically a tiny house. It's really very little. So I do love these and they're really well made. I wish I could like have you guys feel them and reach out and touch them. They're super well made. Their zippers are really good. They're not by Dollar Tree. They're a brand called Unison. And these are awesome, awesome for a dollar. Something like this is probably like four bucks anywhere else. They're made of real parachute material. I can't say enough about them. I love them in all the colors that they're in. And it's going to be a really cute um, emergency medical stuff kit. The next item that I found, I seriously couldn't believe the Dollar Tree had. It's called Wonder Lawn Quick Lawn Grass Seed Mixture. Can you believe this is a dollar at the Dollar Tree? I sure as heck couldn't believe it. And you get a pound of grass seed. I'm pretty sure this is like 10 bucks at Ace Hardware. 
So I'm gonna toss some of this on my lawn, see what happens. I did pick up some of these tri-fold folders. These are amazing. I picked them up for my son for his new coming upcoming school year. He always likes to just carry a couple pieces of paper to school with him and then put them in the folder. And then when he comes home, he puts the paper in a binder. That's how he does things. I don't argue with him, it works for him. But um, these folders are amazing. They obviously have a lot more space and they're made of plastic, so they're indestructible. And boys will be boys. I always love these plastic folders from the Dollar Tree. I feel like they are really a severely awesome bang for your buck deal because plastic folders in office supply stores are anywhere from $2.99 and up. So this is a great, great buy. I did pick up these aquatic rub-on transfers. They're delicate and pretty. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with them, but I thought they were really interesting and I thought I'd give them a shot. I have a lot of used um, glass yogurt containers. Maybe I will paint them white and rub these transfers onto them and use them in my bathroom. They're really cute for a dollar. It's a simple little DIY. I'm gonna give it a shot. I did pick up one of these size 2x chocolate brown t-shirts um it is just a regular crew neck t-shirt size 2x i just think it's made out of really nice cotton it has like some stretch to it i don't know i honestly don't know whether it's men's or women's but i love brown and i'm of course gonna cut this i would never i just don't do crew necks but i'm gonna cut it i love the fact that it's brown and I have a really awesome brown and beige tie-dye skirt that I'm gonna wear that with once I cut the neck off of it. So a dollar, you guys, can't go wrong. And I'll probably wear a beige tank top inside of it. I love cutting the necks off of uh, t-shirts. It's my favorite thing to do. I did show you guys these in a walkthrough ages ago, and I truly meant to buy them, and I forgot, because I was so excited recording them, I forgot to pick them up, and when I went back, they had no more blue ones left, but I'm still hoping to find some blue ones. I did find these dark, like burnt sienna sort of orange ones. They're so, so adorable. They're really beautiful. And I found some more of these buttery popcorn yellow ones. I think they're gorgeous as well. And these are like, I don't know, they're somewhere between tan and white. Uh, they're all really cute. And I don't know what I'm doing with them, but I had to get on the bandwagon and jump on these and buy them because I see that there's going to be lots of awesome DIYs with these. I did pick up this nine pack of cheddar cheese crackers by a brand called Sobisk. See that? S-O-B-I-S-K. And this is just a crazy buy. I should have bought a ton of them, but... I, you know, we don't need a ton of them. And let's see what they look like inside. Wow, they're a 0.75 ounce little bag of cheese crackers. That's a phenomenal deal. I wonder if they're good. I'm gonna taste them. They're so cheap that. Wow, those taste, wow. Those taste exactly, exactly like the Cheez-Its. No difference. And there's nine little bags for a dollar. These are great if you're running a summer day camp or like a summer daycare center and you're, you know, providing daycare services for children and you're on a tight budget. These would be great. Kids love these. This is such a great, great deal. I did pick up these two, a two pack of these six blade razors by Assured. I honestly can never remember which razors I like from the Dollar Tree. I have to like, like a, like a little old lady, take the used up razor after I think it's good and I'm satisfied with it, put it in my purse, but I'm, I'll probably end up putting my hand in my purse and cutting my fingers open and then going to the store and being like now which one was it it's like the only thing that I can never remember I have really good total recall with so many things but razors are not one of them I don't even know if the one that I loved was pink it might have been lavender 
Can you guys let me know which of the Dollar Tree razors are your favorite that are not a brand name? Because I know there's one that I really like, but I can never remember which one it is. As I'm looking at it, this may not be it, but I'm gonna try these. They might be great. They do have six blades and they're two razors for a dollar. We'll see how these work. I was lucky enough to find this gorgeous shine on mirror again, and I picked it up for another friend of mine that really wanted it. It's really, really beautiful. It might be driving you crazy, but that's across the street or private home, so it's their reflection. It's kind of like a funhouse mirror, but it's so, so nice. Do you guys see how it says shine on? It's really, really beautiful. I love it, you guys. And this was from Party City, not a Dollar Tree item. I did pick up three more um, little bottles of this new color brush on nail glue. I absolutely love this product. I have heard some people say that they don't like it. My experience is I do not like any kind of glue that I have to put on any other way other than brushing it on because I got the glue everywhere. If I freaked out. Um, I don't like gluing my skin. I don't like how that feels. I literally freaked out. I could have picked off my entire flesh. I freaked out. I can't say it enough. I cannot handle that. So I like this glue because it just literally goes where you put it and doesn't drip anywhere. And my nails actually lasted like almost seven days. Two popped off and I just glued them back on and I was good. And I do dishes, pull laundry out of the washing machine, uh, you know, go to the bathroom, wipe, wipe. Like that's a big one. <laughs> you have to wipe. Um, so I think that, I think it works really good. And I like it a lot, actually. I definitely love that product. In the whole nail file world, I did pick up another pack of these sassy and chic metal nail files. I absolutely love these nail files. My son is always taking them and filing down his little zombie world and using them up, but they're metal nail files, four for a dollar. These are a phenomenal deal. Whenever I make makeup bags and stuff for the women, I buy multiple packs of these and break them up and put one in each bag. Uh, you'd be surprised how really and truly useful these turn out to be because they're indestructible and I just, I lose them or my son takes them. So I picked up another pack. I picked up several of these little kitchen utensils um, for the little girls or little boys that want to play house or kitchen. I just think for a dollar, that is so cute. You get like a pot and a frying pan and a potato masher and a spatula and a kitchen spoon absolutely adorable find for a dollar really and truly you get seven pieces for a dollar you get four kitchen utensils one frying pan one like boiling pot and the cutest part of it is that you do get a little clear lid with a pink cap how cute is that you guys love it i love this item for a dollar Ki little kids are gonna love love playing house with this i think it's adorable I did pick up a couple of these really pretty teal trays. I think they're absolutely so worth a dollar. You can use these by the pool, bring out drinks, bring out food, put food that you're barbecuing right on them. You don't really care if they melt. You can put them as a background in places, put them on a vanity. They're just really cute colors. They also had red and I believe it was navy blue. No, it was gray and red red for sure and I believe gray yes red and gray I of course of course picked up this color it just fills my heart with happiness and I don't I you could decoupage it you could do whatever you want with these but two of them for sure came home with me and I will definitely end up using them till there's nothing left I know I know me I love things like that I do seem to have quite a few food items in this haul I did pick this four ounce bag of honey roasted peanuts by Planters Up. I like to just keep stuff like this in the car for if I'm driving and I get hungry or someone gets hungry, there's always a little snack. And then I even picked up this six ounce classic peanuts by Planters and probably will leave this in the car in the glove compartment and people could snack on it when they get hungry. And then when that's empty, I'll just pour these into it because I just like to have nuts or almonds. I always have some kind of nut in the car for when we take little drives or whatever because you cannot go wrong for a buck for a snack if you get hungry on a little car trip. Then I did pick up these plastic tablecloths that are flannel backed 
that have an unexpected happy surprise to them because they are actually flamingo tablecloths. They are full of flamingos. I'm going to like show you guys the print. It is so, I mean, I was like, what? Why is this not on more things? If you guys remember, the Dollar Tree made those plates that I picked up with the flamingos on them. It's that print. You guys see that? It's those plate prints. So I think that that is so absolutely fun for a party. I am really impressed with these for a dollar. They are not like the really cheesy tablecloths that the Dollar Tree has. They, they do have like a little bit of a lining, but they're, see that? You can put these on the table outside and even maybe a little smaller table that you make like a cute little arrangement on or something and just leave it out there for the whole summer. It'll, it's plastic. It'll look great. It'll probably protect your little outdoor table. You can do a lot of things with them and make it look like tropically fun flamingo-y. I just think that they're adorable tablecloths with flamingos and I was like oh yeah hop in my cart hop in my cart I was like fly right into my cart please little flamingo you need to come home with me for some tropical fun then I found this really amazing it's five o'clock somewhere flag um, and this flagpole kit and I'm gonna tell you exactly what the deal is so I don't know if you guys saw in a couple of hauls ago how I had found this flag. Now this is real, actual, like parachute material, incredible outdoor fabric. This is another flag that I found by the brand Briarwood Lane. And that is an online company that charges a heck of a lot more than a dollar for these flags. And uh, it's briarwoodlane.com. And this one says it's five o'clock somewhere. It's killer gorgeous. It has a parrot and it's sipping on some cocktails in a hammock. I love, love, absolutely love it. And I absolutely love the flip-flop flag. Go ahead and try and say that quick. So when I saw this flag kit, I decided for a dollar, this is like, I think six or five ninety-six at Walmart, maybe four ninety-six, but between five and six bucks at Walmart, I was like, for a dollar, it's exactly the same quality. It comes with all the hardware. Do you guys see that? Everything you need to anchor it onto your location. And it has the poles and the flag. So I decided that I would pick this up and then, you know, do whatever modifications I need to do to be able to use these flags on this flagpole kit. And I'm like already saving so much money. I have two awesome flags. I hope to find more. The Dollar Tree is blowing my mind with some of the party and fun summer items that they're getting. And I just love things like that. That tropical flag is so, so cool. The flip-flop flag is so cool. And now I have a really cool actual hardware included pole to hang it on, on a fence or on a gate or the side of my house. I'm probably just gonna take this with me to Florida because I love these flags and they're very Florida. Although I may be moving to Savannah, Georgia because a lot of my subscribers keep telling me that the Florida Dollar Trees suck and I'm very upset about it. And um, recently my husband and I, you know, we just go all over the place, but we were watching this TV show and we heard about, um, what is it called? Boil, seafood boil or we heard about something boil in Savannah, Georgia, and then we Googled it and it's like a thing and it is like so cheap and we love seafood and the beach in Savannah is beautiful. And then I remembered that I've been there and I was like, wait a minute, maybe we should think about moving to Savannah. And then I was like, the Dollar Trees in Georgia are definitely good. Thrifty Tiffany like always finds good stuff. Um, hmm. So we started thinking about Georgia and I really kind of love the homes in Georgia sort of more than Florida because I love hardwood floors. I do not like tile floors and Savannah, Georgia has some gorgeous like hardwood floor homes. So I don't know. I'm torn guys. I'm really torn. Um, let me know what you think. Let me know about your Dollar Trees. If you're living in Savannah or Florida or 
Sarasota or Savannah, let me know the two S's. It's S versus S in the, you know, in the race of where am I going to move to? But we are moving. As soon as my husband has his procedure, we are ghosting New York. Although I am going to miss my Dollar Trees. I'm going to miss my Dollar Tree friends. I, I'm going to miss Pamela. I'm going to miss all of my friends. I, my friend, one of my friends is moving with us actually to Florida or Savannah, wherever we move. But I'm going to miss Gretchen, who also has a, a channel, but she hasn't been really putting videos up lately. She's probably going to get back to it soon. And she can come visit, but... I'm going to miss Pamela, but if I find really awesome Dollar Trees, how much do you guys want to bet that Pamela will come and visit me? I bet I could get her to come, even though she hates the heat, but she'll come. I did pick up one of these Pond's Perfect Color Complex Anti-Marks for Natural Color um, Beauty Cream, Normal to Dry Skin. This is supposed to like visibly reduce marks on your skin, like age spots and stuff like that, but... I, I got to be really honest. I mean, it says clinically proven to reduce dark spots on the skin. I have to be honest. Um, I don't know how well it works, but I honestly use it every night and I like how it makes my skin feel almost every night. It's one of my go-to items and I always pick it up at the Dollar Tree. It's almost always available. It's a dollar and I'm pretty sure that every Dollar Tree gets this. Let me know if it doesn't. Please let me know if you've ever seen this in your Dollar Tree because I happen to think that this is one of the hidden gems of the Dollar Tree. I don't feel like enough people talk about it. It's a really great product for just a dollar and it's Pond's. So do other people have this in their Dollar Trees? Have you tried it? Let me know in the comments down below. It, again, this is one of my go-to products that I buy time in and time out. So I'm just wondering if every Dollar Tree gets it. The next item that I picked up was a major wish list item, and I was really fortunate enough to get an entire case of this, and I'm going to stow it away for the holidays. Teenagers kind of love these little silly, this is like a perfect stocking stuffer in the shelter population, or for any kid, I'll show you guys what it does. Okay, so it does have a button in the back. It's sort of like a bootleg Simon, only a mini version, and it's called Memory Flash. Challenge your memory, follow the flashing sequences. Okay, so when you turn it on, it starts. It lit up the red one. So now we're gonna do that. Now I'm gonna purposely screw up so you can hear the, oh, I forgot. Okay, now I'll screw up. Did you guys hear that? I love it. And then if you, I wonder what happens if, Oh, even after the third time, it doesn't do. I thought it might be like even more like, no, even after four times, it just starts over again. But it's fun for a dollar. I think that that's a fun little game for a dollar. What do you guys think? Great stocking stuffer. I was so excited to get this and I did get a ton of them. So I'm happy about that. I was lucky enough to still be able to find some of these sparkling roses um, and the number for this item is 1835. I have swatched it before. It's part of the Marilyn Monroe um, line. I've had a lot of people sign up to buy my de-stashing boxes and I do have a lot of items in my stash. I originally didn't buy a ton of these but they've been flooding the Dollar Trees lately and everybody seems to want some of this really awesome, awesome eyeliner in their box. So I picked up a couple. If you guys are out there and you're still interested in picking up a de-stashing box, I do have quite a few left. So um, let me know in the comments down below if you're interested in a de-stashing box and I'll give you the details. I did finally see these in my stores and I did pick up this gorgeous blue classic print. It reminds me of 80s Laura Ashley and it has these notepads inside and pen with a line that matches it. Really, really cute, beautiful item. Very beautiful. These are absolutely gorgeous. Hardcover, really nice little gifts, add-ins for the holidays. Anytime, people need paper just to write a phone number on or whatever. And um, of course, this one is also ever so popular. Enjoy sunny days with the pineapples and strawberries. 
It's absolutely beautiful on the inside. I love it. I like to use stuff like this when I'm doing giveaways to write people's names on. And the pen has a little pink line through it. Super duper cute. Again, for gifts, little gift baskets, birthday baskets, whatever. I love things like this in baskets. And then I know everybody loves this one. The bee leave in yourself. Everybody loves the bees. I do love bees. I have to say that this is absolutely stunning. The color combo is remarkably gorgeous. The teal and the yellow and the black and white. It's very classic and really beautiful. And who knows, this might be coming up in a giveaway in the future, you guys. Um, let me know if you've been able to find this in your store. But my favorite, <laughs> you guys know me. I'm just crazy that way. I love this one. I just love it. Look at the inside of this. It has butterflies and happy flower power, 60s crazy, joyous amazingness. And um, this actually matches a scarf that I hauled like in the dead of winter, like a little neckerchief that they were selling at the Dollar Tree. And I think I'm going to put this in my purse for like receipts and taking notes and stuff and put that scarf on my orange bag and have this super cute killer thing. And I'll just, when I get a receipt, open this up and put it in here and close it back up and just, it'll be so cute. I love this print and I love that I have a scarf to match it because that makes me feel like I actually am in the 60s because in the 60s, women always had like all these accoutrements that matched the like inside workings of the linings of their bags and stuff. I just love how vintage this is. I love vintage stuff. I went crazy over this print when they had it in the scarves and I'm not done going crazy over it yet. Anything that they put out that has this print, I'm all over. I did pick up some more Yardley. Yardly. I finally said it right and it's finally like basically going to be gone out of the Dollar Tree but I got to be honest I have probably bought way too much of this. I'm either going to end up giving it away to the shelter or I don't know hoarding it for the rest of my life but I love it. I know a lot of people were like ah it smells like old lady. I don't know I love it. It reminds me of um, when I was a little girl um, my, when my mom came here from Greece she had um, a dowry. Yep, a dowry. Like when they were little, they would learn how to do crochet and all those like handmade items. And it, she had like a steamer trunk that I remember I would climb into and pretend it was a magical garden of make-believe steamer trunk. Because when she came here, um, of course, she put all of her like, oh, the dowry is like handmade like linens and stuff like that. This is going to be like an annoyingly long story. I'm going to try to make it short. But long story short, in Greece, I guess they had this soap in the bars because when she came to America, she had a bunch of bars of soap in there that were uh, lavender scented. And so I always remember this smell as that trunk smell because after years of her saving her like handmade items and when she brought them here, she put them away in you know, nice cl closets and like little bags and she stored her stuff really well. But I remember when I would play in that steamer trunk, that it still had that smell of the lavender bars of soap, of this soap. And when I was really young, I remember the bars of soap were in the bottom of the trunk so that it wouldn't get musty in the basement. And I just remember that smell and it makes me so happy. Like, it just makes me crazy happy. And you know who I really identify with? Like, I hope she doesn't think I'm nuts saying this, but I really love the Twisted Gypsy. Um, I'm sure you guys remember like months ago when she was ill, I was like hysterically crying because I honestly love her channel, but I love how like she is so whimsical in her thoughts. I love you, Sherry, for that. When she smells something, you can really go with her. Like she just recently did a haul with friend mail and she was smelling the candles that someone sent her and I could see how they were taking her somewhere else. And I love that. People who have huge imaginations, their olfactory, olfactory, the, the, the schnoz um, is like a sense that can actually take them to another place. And for me, it's kind of the same way. So I really identify with that. And I just, I love this smell and I can't, I just, I cannot deny it. 
I know it's kind of old ladyish. I don't care. Every time I put it on, it just reminds me of like being little and pretending that trunk was from the magical garden of make believe. And it was, remember the magical garden of make believe, the story box, the story box. Like literally, I smell this, I'm there. So I love that. I just love the ability to do that. And I love this smell for it. And I love the Dollar Tree for making it possible for $1. And every time I put that lotion on, I'm thinking about it again. It's just so amazing to be able to travel there, like in my mind, like three times a day when I apply lotion to my hands. I love that. I love, love, love that lotion. I do have way too much. I think I have like 10 bottles of it now. I probably will have to give some away. So I saw this ages ago and I don't know why I've still yet to haul it, but it's marked fun wig. It's red. It's from the um, Party City Closeouts. It's a, let's, let's take a look at this thing. I bought this so long ago and I just don't know how it never made it into my hauls. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. I could be like Raggedy Ann um, for Halloween or something like that. Should I, should I put it on <laughs> with my, I'm gonna leave my red hair sticking out because I think it'll be funny. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I don't know, but I had to buy it. I had to buy it and check. I, I did have to buy this and just check it out and see what it does. Okay, so it has bangs. I guess if you like kind of try to do the right thing with it, you could get it to work. A oh yeah, I'm seeing the bangs. Alrighty then. Okay, so I would cut the bangs a little shorter. That's an easy fix. I would cut the bangs a little shorter and then tuck my hair in and I really could put like two red dots and be Raggedy Ann for Halloween. And speaking of Halloween, speaking of Halloween, have you guys seen these hats in your Dollar Trees? I could not help myself. Of course I had to buy one of these. I don't know what this is gonna be, but I needed to have this gigantic velvet hat in my life and it was only a dollar. Uh, it reminds me of the Nightmare Before Christmas. Oh, you guys know that I'm going to put them on together. Of course I am because I'm crazy, but I don't know. I love this hat. I do. I love it. Okay, these don't go together, but look at the lengths I'm willing to go to to entertain my, my subscriber. I don't know, but I'm actually entertaining myself. Like where, if you have to babysit and you want to entertain some kids... Go to the Dollar Tree, pick up a bunch of random crazy items and just put them on your head. That'll do it. But, um, yep, I love, I love this hat. Actually, I literally think this hat is fantastic for a dollar. You could actually turn it into a witch's hat. It's just velvet. I, you know what? I would probably use this faster than I will use this, but I, I really actually love the idea of making it like a witch's hat and like making it turn a little bit and putting like a like a crow or something at the top of it and embellishing it because it's velvet and to get like velvet Halloween costumes are expensive but this is just a dollar and you can like crush it I would love I love the idea of making it into a witch's hat for Halloween yeah I totally will do that and I could just see like a crow coming out of it like a purple crow how cute will that be in a broomstick yeah I love it love I love this hat a dollar, a dollar. Go ahead and try to buy a velvet hat at Halloween time at Party City and stand on those lines. I'd rather, no way, uh-uh, not me, not those lines. Mm, no, Party City actually did not go out of business. Some stores closed, which is, I think, why we have all this influx of stuff from Party City. I don't even know. Maybe people weren't partying because of COVID, and especially in New York because COVID got hit the worst, which is why I think we have so much hard candy lipstick. No one was wearing lipstick underneath those masks. I was, but not a lot of other people were because I'm crazy that way. And not a lot of people were partying when they were social distancing. So obviously the Party City stores had a lot of stuff left over. The next item that I picked up, I seriously love. 
I love this little fox. It looks like it's carved out of wood. It's so lovely, but it's just resin. And even my son was like, oh my God, mom, that's so nice. You got that at the Dollar Tree? Wow, I picked up three of them. And my son was like, I want one in my room. <laughs> he loves it. He put it on his little shelf. So yeah, I, I just cannot believe that this was a dollar. These are actually so beautiful. They're kind of not really getting the accolade they deserve again. Sometimes things just get lost in the whole Dollar Tree hauler world. But this item is really spectacular. Look at the little grooves. It's just so nicely made for a dollar on a, on a tear tray or on its own or on your table during the holidays with some candles and some florals. This is just such a cute little item to add to your holiday fall decor. I absolutely love this little fox. Super cute. I actually picked up this um, Revlon Flush Foundation in Butterscotch. Believe it or not, I actually went on a hunt for this. Um, one of you guys, and you know who you are, asked me to look for this. And if I could find it, add it to your de-stashing box. So I haven't shipped it out yet, but I actually did find the Flush in Butterscotch. So I'm going to be including it in your de-stashing box. And I'm kind of happy that I was able to make you happy because it wasn't that hard. Um, so yeah, you know, I did, but I actually bought these a while ago in my skin tone. And this is not really my skin tone, but um, I did see my, my fairy treasures. I think I'm going to link that video down below. She bought a de-stashing box from um, me and she was like thanking Pamela and me for always sending her stuff because where she lives in Las Vegas, she's amazing. She's an amazing artist and she does do uh, Dollar Tree hauls, but she's a phenomenal artist and she did her makeup and she said that you can use these for contour and highlighters uh, or contour, you know, the dark, yeah, for to do contour, like light and dark. And um, so it wouldn't be that crazy if I did buy like a shade darker to do, like I could get a much darker one and then a new, like, like this one. But anyway, I didn't get that for this. Although I should do that. I, I just saw, I'm going to link her video. She does an awesome job with her de-stashing box and she like shows the different makeup looks. She's amazing and a beautiful woman. So if you're interested, I'm going to link that video down below. She does a beautiful makeup look with some of her palettes. And uh, I hope she does more makeup looks because I honestly, she's very talented. If you're a talented artist, of course you're going to put your makeup on gorgeous. So I love that video. But um, yeah, so I didn't get this for that, although I should have. I picked it up for one of my subscribers that asked me specifically to see if I could find it. While I was at it and I found it, I did pick up another sugar, which is number um, four. Butterscotch is number 18. That's the one that I had a special request for. And um, I actually did pick up uh, number four. I picked up another one, which is my color. It's called Sugar. I think I'm going to show you guys. This product is really amazing. It is an amazing, amazing product. I don't know why I didn't pick up several of them. It's, it's not cheap in the store, and I believe it's been discontinued. So if you use it, look at that. That is perfect, perfect for me. I, and you get quite a bit of it in the tube. It is all over foundation. It's, see, like I like to use it here. Um, and then I'll put like liquid foundation. I guess I, I guess I kind of am using it in a way as a contour. I'm using it as concealer, but, um, that's the color that I like in this. When I put on everything. I like to put really light under my eyes because my eyes do tend to get sunken in and I just like it. You know what? I bet that butterscotch probably would be my skin tone actually. No, it wouldn't be. I'm very bad at matching colors. <laughs> I have to like buy them all, try them all on. But um, the good thing is that if you don't get the right color, you could use it as contour. So Angie from My Fairy Treasures is right. That's a really good idea for these. I did pick up a two pack of these water brush pens. I was thinking it would be kind of cool when I do my um, bleach tie dye to put some bleach in here and maybe make like speckles or like kind of like a stripe. 
I don't know, but I feel like I want to play around with bleach and these to see what I can do on fat. I'll try it on a fabric that I'm throwing away before I actually do it on my bleach tie dye just to see what kind of effects it makes. Cause it, I don't know, I feel like it might be cool. This is the Maybelline Super Stay. I also picked this up for a special request. I normally don't do it, but just a couple people really asked me so nicely that I couldn't help but try to fill their order. And um, this is number 312 Golden. And it's this makeup is amazing. I have it in my skin tone, and it is amazing. I love it. I love it as much as I like the photo focus, and I absolutely love the photo focus. I've switched from that makeup to this, and at a dollar, you guys, you cannot go wrong. My old makeup that I used to use was, I believe it was Maybelline as well. Now I can't remember because it's been a while, but I, I really like this product. It's a very, very, very good product. Actually, Maybelline Superstay, which is what this is, has a concealer, under eye concealer, that is considered one of the like number one drugstore concealers by a lot of makeup people that I've seen on YouTube and other places that do duping and stuff. They strongly, strongly recommend the Superstay under eye concealer. So if that item is so highly regarded, then obviously this is gonna be really a great product as well. And this is stick foundation. So I kind of did um, stock up on this because I have, like when it's really, really hot out, this is like the only foundation that I've used lately that when it's crazy hot out and I'm sweating like crazy, I don't sweat this foundation off. I sweat everything else off to the point where I just look like I came out of the shower. When I go to some of these Dollar Trees, it's like 100 degrees inside the stores. I don't know why, but they're not putting the AC on in many, many of the New York stores. It's very annoying. They tell you that it's on and you're like, what do you mean the air conditioning is on? It's like the emperor's new clothes. You guys know the story where like they told the emperor that he had clothes on even though he was buck naked. And it's like they're telling me that the air conditioning is on. And I'm like, am I crazy? Like I'm beyond sweating. I'm like disgusting right now. I'm soaking wet. And I'm like, I don't hear air conditioning. I went back there where the system is. It's off. And they're like, oh, no, ma'am, it's on. It's almost like they were told that they have to say that. I don't know what's going on, but I recently spoke to one of the managers in one of the Dollar Trees, and she told me straight up, I told my district manager he could bleep, 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 because the AC is needed. It's like 130 degrees in the stock room. You don't even know how hot it is back there. And I was like, I don't know how you guys are doing it. My heart really goes out to you. It's crazy, honestly, that they would be forced to work I personally am upset that they would be forced to work under that kind of environment because I get upset that I'm shopping for an hour in the store, but I can't even imagine packing out shelves, moving heavy boxes, lifting. I feel so bad. These people were on the front lines a year ago, working their butts off in fear that they could end up dead. And now they're being forced to work with no air conditioning. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm outraged and I wish I could do something. It's crazy how quickly we forget sometimes. And sometimes the corporate world, I hope they hear me right now. I'm sure that I'm not on their radar, but if they ever hear me, I hope they hear me say that that's not cool. You shouldn't let people suffer. I hope that the people that work at Dollar Tree like rally together and do something about it because at least seven Dollar Trees in my area that I've traveled to, no air conditioning. I feel horrible for the people. And some of them are still wearing masks because they haven't been vaccinated. And it's like torture to be in a hundred degree weather all day and have no air conditioning. I just, I went on a tangent, but my heart goes out to them and I really appreciate them. So I have shown you guys this 700,000 times in walkthroughs. I believe I even gave it away in a giveaway already, but I'm going to finally swatch it for you. It's number 1541 Naughty Venus. And I'm actually wearing it here on my eyes. It is beautiful, beautiful. It has uh, one end is like sparkle and the other one is like solid blue. I'm gonna show you guys, I'm gonna swatch it right now. So this is the gorgeous, do you guys see? Do you see that? It is my favorite eyeshadow these days. I really am Mimi from the Drew Carey Show. I find reasons to wear blue clothing so I can like 
put this eyeshadow on. It's metallic and blue. Yeah, of course I love it. It's so 80s. And then on the other side, you have the like glitter one. They're very similar, but they're not the same. And they're absolutely phenomenal together. Like see, one is just super glittery. Um, I put a ton on, but it's really more like a sparkle. And the other one is like a blue, blue, blue. It's gorgeous. It's really a cool product and I really, really love it. I love it. I blended it in. It's gorgeous. If you guys see this Glitterazzi dual ended liquid eyeshadow, do not hesitate to buy it. You're going to fall in love with it. Also, I want to say that this end, do you see how it's slanted? You can actually literally use it like a liquid eyeliner almost if you want to and like go across your whole eye. I did that the other day. I loved it. I just love it. It's absolutely one of my top five finds ever of all time from the Dollar Tree. I did show you guys in my walkthrough a bunch of little neckerchiefs, but I picked these up. I love them, like love them. First of all, this one is so retro. I can't handle it, how retro it is. It is absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous. It does remind me of Rosie the Riveter. It actually literally does. It also reminds me of like, I love Lucy and vintage times, but I, I actually just really do love sometimes like wearing just a neckerchief. I like it. I think they're really cute, really pretty. I really love them. They're very me actually. And if you don't wear it on your neck, you can wear it in your hair, of course, which I'm going to try to. You can wear it in your hair, but honestly, what I probably am going to end up doing with it, and I could see myself, if I'm really hot, taking it off of my bag and putting it in my hair, is tying it to my bag. I love red, shiny material like this scarf is made of. Um, attached to a black patent leather tote with red summer sandals. Absolutely a classic timeless look. Just little pops of red, red lipstick, red toenail polish, red sandals, red hair, probably red sunglasses, red little scarf on your bag, black patent leather tote, absolutely beautiful, red polish, red toenails, black patent leather sandals, red scarf. Just so cute. Could be so many little variations to it, but this red scarf for a dollar is like literally a, an outfit maker. That's how I feel. Like for a dollar, it's an outfit maker. Honestly, I've bought a lot of scarves from the Dollar Tree that have literally made entire looks because they've had so many cute little neckerchiefs that were like retro printed, like those those little notebooks I showed you guys earlier, just beautiful prints, high end, look like Hermes. And again, these remind me of Hermes dupes. So I absolutely love them. If you, if you guys don't know what Hermes is, Google it, polka dot print. It's like a dupe of Hermes for a dollar. I did pick up the Tag Sport Dominate Body Wash. I absolutely love the smell. It smells like, it smells incredible. It's I think it's my favorite one out of all of them. And I already have the deodorant. It is sort of like, um, I don't know. I, I guess it kind of just smells like old fashioned manly with like a twist of ivory soap, like a fresh clean, like old man manly mixed with ivory soap. So it has like a lighter, more new scent old man fragrance, but it, it smells incredible. I love it. Dominate. And I did pick up the Dominate body spray. I already have the deodorant. So I do have like a complete set of this in my gift stash now. And then in previous hauls, I did haul this and it it's called Endurance. It's the green one. And I kept saying it smells clean as a whistle. It does. It reminds me of Irish Spring. And I have the deodorant and I have the spray. I actually bought a few of them. I love this one a lot. So I have the deodorant, I have the spray. So I picked up a couple of the um, Endurance Tag Sport because I do have now a few for gift sets for the future and for the boys because I love this scent. 
And then lastly, in the tag stuff, I picked up Power, the deodorant, uh, again, to complete a three-piece set for gifts. The next thing that I couldn't wait to share with you guys is this incredible instant sparkle by Hard Candy. I actually was so happy to find this the other day. Um, it is number 1688. I had taken Max to the vet, and if you're local, the vet that I take Max to is in Howard Beach. So I went to a Dollar Tree somewhere near Howard Beach. It was in Howard Beach. And when I saw these in the store, I almost died. Like, this is an instant sparkle, all over sparkle. Seriously, like, what? It, this is amazing. Full size bottle. It's 1.1 ounce, you guys. Amazing. Now, let me show you what it does. I literally, you guys know that I love to sparkle. So it does have one of these droppers, right? Uh, let's put it on the other hand. I'll show you guys, which I like. Just the fact that it's sparkly and it has a dropper, it's already an insanely awesome item. But look at that. It is just gorgeous. It just... And that is what I would do with it. So gorgeous. Do you guys see the glitter and the shimmer of that? It's just glistening. I mean, I would totally do this if I was going out at night or, of course, doing a haul in my car. Either way, of course, I'm going to do it. But I love having shimmer. Um, you could put it on your legs. If you're going out in the evening, put it all over. Put it everywhere. It's just absolutely an incredible find for a dollar. This is like, I think like $15 in the store, $10 at least. Ah, maybe it's even seven. I don't know, but it's not a dollar. That's what I know for sure. But I'm so happy. I think it's actually $7 in the store. I feel like it should be so much more. Things that sparkle should have extra money attached to them. And then when you find them in the Dollar Tree, you feel even more sparkly about it. And then there was this. This is possibly my most favorite item that I have found lately altogether. The day that I was in Howard Beach, um, they didn't have a lot and they've been bringing the wet and wild stuff in, in weird ways where it's like one box and there'll be like two of this, two of something else. I just found a couple of these and a few of the all over sparklers. I was happy to find them and I actually did buy everything that was there. There weren't a lot of items in the store and my battery was dead and I was devastated. I was like, because I had been using my phone the whole time waiting for the dog to get out of the vet. But I want to open this up and show you guys. I want to swatch it for you. It's amazing. Amazing. Like, amazing. Well, I actually don't know if it's amazing, but it looks amazing. I'm amazed that I found it. I've been wanting this forever. Forever. Since the... I don't remember who I first saw haul it, but believe me, I've seen a lot of people haul it now. And I was like, what's going on, New York? Why are we not getting it? We keep getting these brown colored lip tints, which I'm not upset about. My people are going to be really happy at Christmas time. I've gotten a lot of stuff for the shelters that I've never been able to find before. Thanks to the tireless efforts of Pamela helping me seek them out. But this is something I just really wanted for myself. And it is a highlighter. So of course you can highlight, you can use it as eyeshadow, but you can actually put your finger in it and pick out, see like that's a green. You could pick out and put just purple. You could use the gold. You see how that's different? You could use the orange because it is striped. I mean, you could literally keep this in your car or take it with you on a little trip and use it as eyeshadow. If you want to use like pastel colors, it's really that nice. It's really easy to use well, I'm going to use the green one for sure. Like, I'm not going to do it now. Stop yourself, Marina. But yeah, I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. If you're lucky enough to get a lot of these, these make gorgeous presents. Also, I feel like the Dollar Tree put this out for Gay Pride, and that was amazing of them. Phenomenal. Thank you, Wet n Wild, for distributing this into the Dollar Tree to represent Pride Month. That's gorgeous. I love that. I'm all for it. And then, you guys by Hard Candy. This is potentially my favorite item of the week. I, ah, it's a toss up. The last three are pretty, pretty, they were high on my wish list. Is this Hard Candy 
bronzer. It's called 1239 Turn Me Bronze. It comes in this plastic tube, which makes it look very fancy schmancy. You get this glass bottle with the eyedropper, unbelievable, beautiful packaging. And you have this gorgeous bronzer liquid that you can, of course, use with your makeup, um, silicone sponge or whatever, brushes, whatever. You could put this into your lotion and, you know, put some bronze tint on your legs, your arms, wherever you want to put it. You can mix it into your lotion. I just think it's, I just, it's called Turn Me Bronze. I don't know if I can get that to really show because it's getting dark out now, but the packaging is just absolutely beautiful. I love it. Absolutely love this product. Unbelievable for a dollar. Last but not least, you guys, I want to share some of these LA Colors nails that I found because I absolutely love the LA Colors nails. These are like purple and burgundy ombre effect nails. Really nice for the winter time. Love that. And then I found these really gorgeous, and I bought two packs, obviously, of each of them. Um, these really gorgeous nude, like striped, really beautiful, beautiful nails. A dollar. I love them. And I really love the LA Colors nails. I love them way more than Sassy and Chic, but I can't resist either one. And I did get these. I love teal. I could probably see a lot of the time, I'm probably not going to even do all of my nails. I don't know. I kind of like having like these fingers not have fake nails on them and polishing them or I don't know, but I love the idea of using them. They do make life easier. I have fake nails on right now from dashing and they have the self stickiness on them. So that's pretty cool too. But I did pick these up and I love, absolutely love that gorgeous psychedelic print. It's beautiful and teal. And I have to be honest, again, I guess like today is just the gypsy day. Um, I saw Twisted Gypsy with these on all of last week. And I was like, oh my God, I love that color. And she said they were Halloween nails. And I was like, man, I wish I had bought those. I love them. She's right. They're so summer fun. And then boom, I found them. So there's that. It was like kismet. I love them. They're Halloween glow-in-the-dark nails, but look at that color. I'm sure you guys saw Keto. They looked phenomenal on her. So I found a couple of packs of these, and I was thrilled, thrilled. But I actually could see myself putting on these green ones and some fluorescent pink ones because, because that's what I would do. I do those things. I like to go overboard. You guys know that. And I did pick up this 60-piece set because I did order that thing from eBay that cuts the nails. And these are multicolored nails that are, um, they're like that pointy stiletto shape. So I'm going to test out cutting the nails with that thing. I figured with 60 of them, I could just, even if I ruin every one of them, I could get good at cutting the nails with that trimmer thing and shaping them however I choose, which is kind of exciting. And then I did pick these up. Do you guys see these? They are absolutely, unbelievably beautiful. I love them. I sort of think that I probably will polish my nails like bronze or silver, which I do often, sparkly, and use just a couple of these as accent nails. I couldn't leave them behind. I think that they are incredible. And I could probably get a lot of uses out of them. I could do like a couple of my fingers and then probably still use a couple of times more because you do get 12 in the box. I only found one, but as accent nails, I probably could get away with this twice. So I picked it up anyway because I think that's really, really fun. If you're going somewhere, if it matches your outfit, don't forget I did buy that tacky bracelet um, from the Dollar Tree that came from in my last haul. It was like a tacky beaded silver and bronze and gold made a lot of noise. I could see myself wearing these accent nails, wearing the techie bracelet and going to like a casino or somewhere really like, like a little, I could see it in a casino. I think it would be fun. And my husband really gets a kick out of those kind of things when I do them. He just thinks that I'm off my rocker, but that's it. You guys, that's everything I have to share with you today. I hope you enjoyed this haul. It's getting dark at this point. I've been 
here in this beautiful view. I love it here today. It's gorgeous out. I hope you guys have had an awesome day. I hope you enjoyed this haul. And if you did, please do like, share, and even subscribe to the channel. I would love to have you as a permanent member of the Confessions of a Dollar Tree Attic family. And as always, guys, stay safe and stay savvy. Bye-bye.